So I've uh, partly built the machine up um, and got the knee fixed in place and the gear ball on the knee um, uh, and then we have the carriage on and the table uh, in the carriage on the carriage um, and then we have a uh, uh, the, the square on the table. Um, so I've just run the table up and down and we've got about a thou over four or five inches um, and that basically indicates that um, this V-way here is, or the, the sort of male part of this V-way is lower than this V-way. Um, so we need to take a bit off this this side, um, and that's down to various things. I mean, I, I never tried to keep the the female part of this V-way in line with this, or at the same height rather as that. They were parallel but not at the same height, so I was expecting an error there. Um, and also, I never tried to keep the uh, the the dovetail there in line. Um, that was just uh, fitted. So um, while I expected the error to be quite small on that part, I think the error here is quite big. So we can compensate for that um, by scraping down. Um, the the male part of that V-way. So measuring in the other direction, uh, we have it a thou and a half tilt this way. Um, so we'll just double check that measurement by putting a, a square on here on this surface and putting the indicator on the sliding table and slide the table backwards and forwards um, and because this surface we checked is parallel with the inside of these surfaces that should be the same measurement so the final test setup is uh, the square bolted onto the column uh, and then carriage slid backwards and forwards on its V-ways. Um, uh, looking at the indicator we get about uh, essentially this drops away by about a thou in four inches uh, very roughly. Um, so that would line up fairly closely with what we saw from the table measurement. So I've just summarised that in a quick little sketch. Uh, what you've got it's some drop away in this direction, about one and a half thou four inches, and you have some drop away in this direction of a similar value. So what we're seeing is that corner is the highest corner, and that corner is the lowest corner. So we need to take some material off this this corner, to get the thing back into square. So I've. Uh scraped the V-ways on the knee and completed that. Um, I can't measure any any outer squareness from the, the column uh, and relative to the movement I think I've got about one or two tenths outer squareness this way so um, I'm happy with that. The next job is to check the alignment of the screw that moves the table or the, the carriage backwards and forwards in this direction um, obviously because I've taken off material from the top of that V and the bottom of that V uh, the hole and the screw are going to be closer to uh, the pad with the dowels on uh, what I'm going to do is position it with the clearance in the screw uh, and then probably just leave the dowels out for the time being but at some point I'll re-ream the dowels with it in, a, in the correct position <laughs>